Hey guys, today's restaurant is on the west side and the reason being is I have a friend who was kind of posting some dishes from here uh, that he ate on social media and it interested me and the place is called Pukai Bay Restaurant. It's fronting right in front of the entrance of Pukai Bay so after you go to the beach or prior to going to the beach you can pick up a nice plate lunch or a nice pastry. They uh, specialize in local plate lunches. They make uh, from scratch pastries, which I didn't get today. They have um, shave ice even and ice creams and even fruit butters like they have a blueberry butter and all of that stuff. But I got a couple plate lunches. So this is their tonkatsu or pork cutlet plate and it's with gravy all over. I got a salad, but it came in a separate plate and you can also get just the plain tonkatsu with tonkatsu sauce if you don't want the gravy. So let's dig in. Looks nice and crispy. For sure, gravy all over. Look at that, delicious. Nice and crispy, nice and hot. The gravy is really nice. Although the pork a little bit salty, but let's eat some rice with it. And it's already cut up, so you don't have to um, have a knife. They cut it up nice in nice pieces for you. Thick cuts of pork. It's not dry inside. I like the panko crust. It's really crunchy. And the gravy just makes it better. It's just that I wish they would just kind of hold back a little bit on the salt, but so far it's pretty good. It is delicious, though, if you just take one bite of the tonkatsu and then one bite of the rice and then the saltiness really balances out so it does work well together because the gravy has a great taste but it's not too salty as other gravies so it kind of actually works out well now i'm kind of getting it it really works with the rice everything worked well together that really hit the spot i didn't get mac salad um, you can get mac salad but i got a toss salad and they put it in a separate container if you want toss salad and I got some kind of ranch dressing so let's check it out all right so it looks like there's some tomato in here with some uh, romaine lettuce and some shredded carrot I'm glad they gave ranch they didn't ask what kind of dressing you wanted so um, I like ranch more than French dressing or something like that really fresh greens the tomato is refreshing everything's nice and fresh and not wilted or anything and I really like that ranch dressing it's got a little tang to it all right so that pork cutlet was the bomb delicious one paired with the rice and actually I take that back um, with the rice it's not salty it actually is perfect so the next dish I got was their fried chicken with chow fun you can get just plain chow fun if you don't want the fried chicken but they'll add it on top for a little extra and it just looks like, look at this crispy, delicious skin on there. Uh, the chow fun looks loaded with spam, kamaboku, green onion, and carrots, it looks like. Let's take a piece of this crispy chicken skin. I like how everything's cut in small pieces, so you don't need a knife and it's easy to eat on the go. The actual meat of fried chicken kind of is dry, to be honest, and I wish there was like a dipping sauce or a sauce that was drizzled on it but let's try the chow fun nice long noodles wow the chow fun actually has delicious flavor noodles are delicate and just tender and all the flavors are soaking into this noodle dish so good really really generous with the toppings and the spam and the kamaboku And sometimes you get little bits of the chicken skin that are crunchy in, in their mix of noodles, and that's really good. Okay, let's try another piece of chicken just to be sure. Now that one's pretty juicy, but it's a kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes you get a dry piece that's a little bit more overdone because they're all cut up in pieces. But overall, it's okay. But these little pieces of chicken skin that they throw in are so delicious. I actually wish that they would just actually top the chow fun with little pieces of fried chicken skin. That would be awesome. But next time I would honestly, for me anyway, just get the chow fun. The chow fun was 10 out of 10. 
and all the fillings in there make it really tasty. And you already have enough meat with the spam and the generous portions of the kamoboku in there. So uh, next time I wouldn't add the fried chicken on top. But everything so far has been excellent. I really enjoy the pork tonkatsu. Uh, the gravy all over was just very decadent. And the fresh salad that comes with it, if you want to do that instead of get mac salad, was very delicious with that awesome dressing. And the chow fun was great. Um, the only thing I would suggest if you're wanting to come here or you're on this side and wanting to try Pokai Bay restaurant is to call your order in. Um, I went through the takeout window, which is on the side. You can also dine in. But if you're doing takeout, you have to go through the takeout window. And um, it took about 20 minutes because they cook everything to order. Everything is homemade. They have specials of the day every day that are different. And don't forget their awesome homemade pastries and their shave ice and ice creams that they offer as well. So support small local business. Come to Pokai Bay Restaurant if you're on the west side here in Waianae. And... Um, enjoy their homemade food made with love. And I'll see you again next time. Press the like button if this was informative and helpful for you. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again next week. Peace out.